Hi there, I'm Manoj and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a VS Code extension used to convert Markdown files into PDF, JPEG, PNG and HTML files. I recently came across this extension and thought that it would be useful for you guys too. So let's get started. So as you can see here, this is the extension. You install it as any other extension on VS Code. And there are six lag downloads for this extension. So this is a pretty popular extension. So you need not fear for any bugs or any other errors while you're running this extension. So these are the features of this extension. And let me show you quickly how you can use this extension. So in order to use this extension, you need to have a markdown file. If you don't know how to create a markdown file, just create a new file and save it with .md extension. So that's it. So I already have a markdown file open here and I wrote some uh, text in that file. So if you're not already familiar with markdown syntax, don't worry. It's very easy to learn. You can just uh, go through the syntax basic syntax of markdown i'll provide a link to it in the description below so this is the markdown file so how do you convert it into pdf jpeg and png etc you just the first thing is you need to open the command palette you can open the command palette using Control, shift and p so as soon as you open the command palette in a markdown file you can see some of the commands provided by this extension like export to pdf export to all of them pdf html png and jpeg so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to export it to pdf so as soon as you execute that command it is being converted it to pdf so the pdf file will be created uh, in the same location of where this markdown file is so my markdown file is present on the desktop called array and this is the file i've just created to show you and this is the pdf file which is generated so let us now have a look at this so this looks pretty good right you can just uh, use this extension to write notes you can just add uh, many features to this uh, pdf file like uh, add these uh, cool links uh, like table of contents and whenever you press this thing it goes to that particular topic and you can also add these uh, cool uh, code snippets i'm not sure if you can add these in simple pdf files so as i said before um, it's not very tough uh, thing to learn this markdown syntax it's very easy and you can go through the link provided uh, in the description below it just provides you all the markdown syntaxes all the cool things you can do with markdown and we can also generate a png jpeg and html files using this extension and the process is same you just need to open the command palette and execute that particular command so i'm converting it into all other formats so let us see on our desktop this is a jpeg file uh, you probably don't want to convert a long markdown file into images it's not very useful if you want to use it in some uh, HTML uh, CSS code you can just uh, convert it into a HTML file I'll probably recommend you to use the PDF extension this extension has been very useful for me while taking notes and learning new technologies and new languages you can just add some quick summary quick code snippets and just add some links to the whole PDF on the top so another cool thing is you can also open the preview of this markdown file on the side using this command called markdown open preview to the side so as soon as you type something on this markdown file it appears on the preview so you can view the contents of the pdf file before you convert so that's it for this video i hope it did help you guys if it did help please make sure to like the video and i'll meet you in the next one